mother and her eight year old daughter flung into a trailer by a speeding driver and you can see the damage here. A driver who witnesses say didn't even bother slowing down when he saw the damage that he'd done. But thanks to Good Samaritans, police say that the suspect here, 39 year old Carlos Chalk, was caught. Wheat News reporter Annalise Iraola joins us live from Cape Coral and you just spoke to the mom, Annalise. How does she feel about everything that's happened? Thankful, Lois. Christy Aldridge and her daughter, Aria, are still shaken up. Mom has survived a crash before, but this was a first for her little girl. And they're grateful that Good Samaritans stepped up when they needed them most. Smashed and totaled. That's how Christy Aldridge describes her car. But before I could even react, he had hit me, like right above my driver's side tire. And then my car started to spin out. Aldridge told me on Friday a man in a gold van ran through the intersection at Kismet and Andalusia and hit her car so hard she spun and slammed into a big truck and trailer. What were you feeling emotionally when, when this was happening? Scared. Very scared. And Christy's eight-year-old daughter was also in the car. She was just really scared, crying, like freaking out. Um, but she's not injured or anything. Um, she was just very shaken up. What made matters worse is that Aldridge said the man in the gold van drove away. That's when several Good Samaritans jumped in to help. I heard the brake squeal um, and then the big accident and the guy took off. I first ran over to um, the car that was the with the woman and her little kid and then me and another guy ripped the door open and got her out. One of those good Samaritans is AJ Ford. Both of them were very emotional. The daughter I felt really bad for because I got a four year old myself. Um, so it was kind of hard seeing her just distraught like that. AJ and two other men help KPD track down the driver. 40 year old Carlos Chalk now faces hit and run and driving without a license charges. I just want to say thank you um, for checking on me and my daughter and for helping take down the guy that committed the crime. Um, I'm very appreciative. And they have good reason to be. As for the suspected hit and run driver, he posted bond and is a free man tonight. Live in Cape Coral on Elise Iraola, Wink News. Wow, it's nice when people step in like that without even hesitation. And thanks goodness they did in this case because it mm -hmm. made such a huge difference. Yeah, it did.